All right, we're going to take a look at a couple of different ways to change font colors throughout the Divi platform. We're going to take a look at what we're going to what we can do with headers and override the default global colors. We're going to take a look at the body text. We're going to take a look at coloring inside the body text, just selected text. We're going to take a look at these different sections here that have background colors or in, in your case may even be a photo. So the first thing we're going to look at is what's going on with this header text. So the, the first thing we would want to do is we would come over here and we would want to take this header text out. So we're going to go ahead and copy this and get rid of that and hit save. We're going to go ahead and add another module so that you can see how this is going to work. And we do this a variety of different ways. So this is using the header one tag, but you can also override the color by coming up to design and you can override all of the global defaults in this design tool. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we're going to take a look at uh, updating the heading font. We're going to change this to, let's say we want to color it pink. Hit save OK. Go ahead and scoot it up to the top and hit update and go take a look at how that that changed things. So that, that's one way that you can change the color on an individual page. If you want to change it globally, get a hold of somebody at ILGM and they'll take care of it for you globally. But that's the way that you can change like header fonts. Now if you open this up and it's not one of the um, one of the heading tags, it's just regular paragraph, then you would you could still come over to the design, but instead of coming down here to where it says heading font, you would come up, up here where it says text font, and you can choose your color there. Let's say we want to make it maroon. We'll hit save and update. But this is also going to make that text um, smaller, and it's not going to be uh, capitalized either. So you can still use that same design area to make that text larger. We'll go ahead and tell it to capitalize. Um, we'll go ahead and make that font, let's make it, let's say, 33 pixels tall and we're good to go there. there. There's a couple of other things that you can do with that as well if you want to. Um, like in this case we can actually change the font to something a little bit more pleasing. You can select uh, the default and you can pick something different in here. Uh, let's just find something just for this demonstration. How about Atomic Age? That's usually pretty decent. So we'll come over here and we'll let update. And it'll give you the option to uh, work with your different fonts. Uh, you, there's new to Divi is the ability to add um, shadows and even some animations. So if you wanted to add a small drop shadow to it, you could. Um, it's going to default with some of the settings, drop shadow color. Another thing that they have now down towards the bottom is the ability to do animations. So if we wanted it to bounce onto the page, we could click bounce and hit save. Let's go ahead and hit update. So when that page loads, that text title will now bounce up onto the page in an animation. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at hi highlighting um, some text. Let's say we want to highlight this and change it to red and bold. So one of the things you can do is come over here, you can come to your text, and the thing that might be confusing is, if you'll notice, this is a single line toolbar. If you click this icon right here, it'll give you a double line toolbar, and now you have some extra options down here. So what we can do is we can highlight this part of the text that we want. We can come over here and say we want it to be red, and we'll go ahead and bold it. We can hit update. Come down here and take a look at what that does. So now that text is red and bold. I don't recommend you do that a lot, but it does have its place and its purpose. So now let's come down here and take a look at this. So this section here is on this uh, peach color background. So we're going to come over to our text here and we're going to go back to the design again. And it is set to default to the, the global default dark. We're going to go ahead and set it to light and see what that looks like. So we'll hit save and then update come back into here so that that looks almost white so that doesn't look too bad but but that's going to be the global light color 
versus the global dark color. And then down here, what if we wanted it to be pure white? We can come down to the base. It's very similar to what we just did. We'll come over here to the design tab again. And instead of picking the dark, we'll just override it with the text. We'll tell it we want it to be white. Hit save and hit update. And now this will be pure white down there. So those are your different ways to change font colors and even some uh, different kind of styles like shadows and some animations.